Welcome back everybody to another wonderful PVC worship experience in the new year 2024. I don't know if you know, or if you've been paying attention since last week, our first service of the year, but 2024 is said to be the year of unending celebrations. That is the word of God to our church, and we are really running with it. God has an incredible service in store for us today, but I want us to first quieten our hearts, focus our minds in prayer, and then for a worship session. Hello church and Happy New Year. I'm here to lead us in our opening prayer this morning. Uh, let us start just by thanking God for how he helped us over the past year. Let us thank him for who he is to us, for being our God, our Father, our King, our Lover, our Maker. Let us begin to thank God in Jesus' name. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus for how you have sustained me over the past years. Oh, Father, I say thank you. Jesus, I say thank you. Thank you for your mercies that are new over my life every morning. Thank you for being always so good to me, always so kind to me. Thank you for being mindful of me, Lord Jesus. Father, I say thank you for fighting my battles, oh God. Thank you for carrying me day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year. My God and my King who is life unto you. You. Father, I say thank you. Father, I say thank you. Jesus, I say thank you. Over your church, the prevailing and borderless church, Lord, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. We say thank you. Over our stewards, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for how you have sustained your church. Thank you for how you've helped your church. Thank you for how you've carried your church. Jesus, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Over the months, Father, we say thank you for your provision, for your sustenance. Oh, Father, we say thank you for giving us, oh Lord, the mind of Christ, for helping us to live like you in this world. Father, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you over everyone affiliated with this church. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the prevailing and abundant church. Oh, Father, we say thank you even for our families. Oh, Father, for how you have sustained our families. Jesus, we say thank you. For how you have sustained our friends. Lord, we say thank you. For your mercies, for your mercies undeserved that are new every morning. Father, we say thank you for preserving us for your own name's sake. Lord, we say thank you for how you've helped us, not because of any good thing that we have done, but because of who you are. Lord Jesus, we say thank you for your goodness, for your mercies. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, amen. At this point, let us just begin to ask for the forgiveness of sins. Let us begin to ask God to forgive us our sins. It is written in the book of First John 1, 8 to 10 it says that if we claim to be without sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if there is anyone out there thinking they are without sin it's a lie so let us just begin to go before the throne of grace and begin to ask God to have mercy, mercy upon us. Father, have mercy, have mercy. Cleanse us, oh God, from every unrighteousness, from every unholiness. Cleanse me, oh God. Clean me up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, wash me in your precious blood. Make me as white as snow in the mighty name of Jesus. You said you would wash your church with water. Wash me with water, oh God. Wash PBC with your water. Wash PBC BBC with your blood, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of the bell. Lord, wash us, cleanse us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please have mercy. In the many ways we've fallen short, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Remember your loving kindness. O Lord, remember our frame and have mercy. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on everyone listening to me. And Lord, have mercy on your church, have mercy on PBC, have mercy on the body of Christ. We've fallen so far off the mark. Lord, please have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Let the blood of Jesus speak for us. Have mercy on us, oh God. 
in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. And right now, I just want us to pray for ourselves first. I want us to pray according to the word of the Lord in Galatians uh, Galatians 5, 22. It says that, for the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. And it is written, it is written also in the book of Matthew 7, 19. It says that every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Let us begin to pray that God will have mercy on us and would help us to bear fruit even in this new year in the mighty name of Jesus that we will not be cut off and thrown into the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Father, Lord, that you help us, so oh God. Help us, oh God, in this walk with you. Help us to be fruit that bear fruit. Let us to be, help us to be trees that bear fruit. Help us to bear fruit. Help us to bear fruit. Help us not to be thrown into the fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let no fruit of the Spirit be lacking in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Heavenly Father. Help us, Heavenly Father. Help Help us, O oh God, to live our lives this year in ways that are pleasing unto you. Kali prana kayande ikapalia, libra sukutume ne kasuta, leke yande libra na kayados. Father, help us to be a fruit. Help us to be a fruit. Help us to be a fruit. If there is anything in our lives that is not allowing us to be a fruit, Father, those things take them away from us, cut them out of us. Father, do your surgical work in us. Libra na kayande ikapalia. Let your blood flush those things out of us so that we will bear fruit, O Lord, to the glory of your holy name alone. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. And I want us to also pray. According to 2 Corinthians, it says that casting down imagination and every height in that exalts itself above the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Let us begin to pray that this year, that the Holy Spirit will capture our minds, our hearts, our thoughts in the mighty name of Jesus. That the Holy Spirit will capture the mind, the hearts, the thoughts of every member of PBC. The Bible says that we have the mind of Christ. So let us begin to pray that this yeah, we will walk with the mind of Christ. We will see with the mind of Christ. We will do with the mind of Christ. We will pray with the mind of Christ. We will sing with the mind of Christ. We will study the word of God with the mind of Christ. Everything that is unlike God. Every thought that is unlike Christ. Father, we cast it down in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast down every imagination and every heart in the mighty name of Jesus we see through the mind of Christ we live having the mind of Christ everything we do we do it with the mind of Christ in us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah amen and amen the last prayer I want us to pray is for the church of God PBC it says in the book of uh, John 12 32 it says that and I when I am lifted up from the earth will draw all people to myself so Lord Jesus we pray help PBC to lift you up help PBC to lift you up as a church help us to lift you up so that men will be drawn to you if there is anything that we are doing that is unlike you father take it away from your church in the mighty name of Jesus if there are ways we are not lifting you up father have mercy on us and help us to lift you up and even as we lift you up Lord father draw men to yourself in the mighty name of Jesus, the grace to lift you up. But I give it to every member, every steward, 
or every worker, whoever. Father, help us to lift you up in our lives, in our deed, in all that we do, so that men will be drawn to you into the church, into the body of Christ. Father, Lord, help us to do things with the wisdom of God and not the wisdom of this world. Help us, oh God, to have zeal that pleases you not misdirected zeal help us not to have zeal without knowledge rather help us to have knowledge and understanding by the help of the holy spirit help your church oh god oh father help your church the prevalent and the borderless church help our stewards pastor dami pastor where all the all the stewards father help every member help Every worker help. Father, help your church. Glorify yourself inside the prevailing and the borderless church. And Father Lord, I pray even for everyone watching me. Father, glorify yourself in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you once again because you've had us. Because even before we begin to pray, Father Lord, you know what will come from our mouth. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Just begin to say thank you, Jesus. Begin to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for another time in your presence. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. For everyone watching this, Lord, we say thank you for access to your word. Not everybody has access to your word. Lord, we say thank you. Oh, Father, we say thank you. Father, we pray let our thanks and praises ascend unto you as a sweet fragrance, oh God. Jesus, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. How about we say thank you thank you god the father thank you god the son thank you god the holy ghost for in jesus mighty name i have prayed amen be blessed as you go through the service god bless you
been so messy for long Father, I'm grateful for your mercy Oh Lord, I'm grateful for your mercy I'm grateful for your Lord Yes, I need your holy name By how you show me this Jesus can know Thank you for your mess Lord I'm amazed By how you show me this Jesus can know Thank you for your mess I'm amazed
God of heavens. You don't need a man to be the God you already need. You have chosen and called me. You got time and season. God of, 
of everything no one like you no one like you ancient of days no one like you no one like you immortal no one like you no one like you king of love no one like you you are god of everything no one like you you're not a You're not a man. Oh. Blessed be your holy No one like you. You're not a man. You're not a man. Ah. You are God of everything. No one like you. Say you're not a man. You're not a man. You're not a man. You're the God who opens doors. No one can shut. No man, no one. You're not a man. You're not a man. You are God. You are God. You are God of everything. One more time, say He is not. You're the God who opens doors, no man. You're not a 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 man. You're the God who opens doors. No one can shut. You're not a man. You're not a man. You never lie. You never dream. You're the God of everything. No man. You're not a man. You're not in your voice. Who opens doors? No one can shut. No one can shut. No one can shut. No you are not a man.
God, people of God, the Lord bless you all greatly in Jesus' name. This is Pastor Samuel Kasali from the state of Kuwait. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to Pastor Ayemi and uh, the entire PBC family, the leadership, more grace, and I pray the hand of the Lord perpetually be upon you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, wherever you're watching this broadcast from, I want you to share right now, invite somebody share the link with somebody get them aware that pbc it's live and this time we want to pray for open heaven in the year 2024 i trust god almighty that after this prayer we are all experiencing open heaven open heaven open heaven all through the year 2024 and beyond in jesus name wherever you are lift your voice magnify the lord glorify him Give him praise. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you glory. We give you honor. There is none like you. Thank you and thank you. This hour we want to pray. Holy Spirit, pray with us. Spirit of the living God, we believe in you. We trust in your presence in this service. Do what only you can do. Manefroski, Fragasco, Filagadoski, Manate, Bracatis of Elendo, Kriamanta, Abragasca, Fali, Feleli, Yamasus, and Avakilo, Rabadilo, Indragas, Cate, Varakis of Renacatia, Abacatos, Cambracata, Yalaba, Shileba, Embracate, Sibacatos, Cabra, Diaba, Spirit of the Living God, Amparas, Kefan, Teli, Bragatos, Capra, Napasute, we depend on you, Makata, Fekiakos, Cafanatibe, Ambragatos, Capra, Netezu, Ferenke. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are grateful in Jesus' mighty, precious name. We pray. Hallelujah. People of God, get your Bible quickly. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 18. Let's do from verse 18 to 19. It says, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever 
you shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven again i say unto you that if two shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them by my father which is in heaven you have an opportunity this very hour to pray open heaven you will understand from the word of god people of god that the heaven that we want to open you and i have a part to play there is a you factor there is god's factor in your own place is to unlock the heaven in this place on earth whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bind that which you open so we decree the open heaven we pray the open heaven and it will happen because god will answer prayer we hear us and we will open the heaven upon you upon your family upon your business upon your investment even as you journey through 2024 in the mighty name of jesus and another advantage you have is i'm going to be agreeing with you every month of this year every week of this year every day of this year you are walking on the open heaven everything you do everything your family will be doing the project the the in your career in every area of your life you are under open heaven all through 2024 and beyond in the mighty name of jesus so we're going to be agreeing on that by the word of god and in the place of prayer so let whatever you have lift your voice say in the name of jesus christ as i begin to pray i come under open heaven my family come under open heaven in the journey of 2024 i operate under open heaven my career has come under open heaven in the year 2024 shakata. we decree open heaven day by day week by week month by month all through 2024 and beyond in the mighty name of jesus Jesus Christ, uh, if we open it on earth, it shall be open in heaven. We decree the heavens open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Calabrados ke pariata e gata baria shemenata embrege tu ziba gatosh kaparada erade koba shata. Somebody pray with me. I enter open heaven. I heaven upon my life is open. Upon my career is open. I will not struggle in the year 2024. My business has moved under open heaven, is now under open heaven, stayed, established, functioning, expanding under open heaven. Radiso Bradaka, Igado Bregiski da Braduse Pranata, in Dekoske Branina Koshka Barata. I will not be a victim of closed heaven. My family will not be a victim of closed heaven. Therefore, we may bold to decree this year 2024 open heaven week by week day by day every hour every month jaka zizo paragatela e brekete manansi brakata e baradada decree and unlocking arageto bakishka baruskete we unlock the heaven in our favor e katayaba siloba kanamante brete e kobariske bragatoske parata and dekoski brata zoperiata everywhere I go in all my involvement investment in the year 2024 i decree open heaven in the mighty name of jesus i decree the heavens upon you open radiso brakaske bakata beniska fanta in the mighty name of jesus thank you abba father in Jesus mighty name we pray people of God it's in the place of prayer that you make known to God that which you want he said in Matthew 7 7 ask it shall be given when you go to verse 8 he said unto him that ask it receive it so the one who ask we receive so as you are asking of the Lord for open heaven in the year 2024 it will be done unto you nothing shall hold you back the heaven upon your life is open you want to type it there write it there text it 
put it everywhere. Hashtag PBC. My heaven is open. The heavens are open upon me in the year 2024. Write it everywhere. Hashtag PBC. 2024, my heavens are open. No story of failure in any way. No story of failure in any way. My heavens are open. The heavens are opened over my family, over my career, over my investment, over my studies. Everything I do, I operate on the open heaven as I go in the year 2024. I am helped of the Lord. Nanano zigoto barata. You are helped of the Lord. Nande breketelia. The heavens upon you are open. The heavens upon you are open. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty precious name we pray. When the heavens open, there will be an announcement. When you see the book of Matthew chapter 3, 16 to 17, when, the, when our Lord Jesus Christ was baptized, the Bible says, as he came out, the Bible says, and the heaven opened, and the heavens opened. As the heaven opened, God, God spoke. There was an announcement. There was an announcement. The Lord is announcing you in the name of Jesus. You say, my Father and my God, as I journey 2024, the heavens upon me is open. A, for divine announcement. The heavens upon my life is open for divine assignment, for divine announcement, for divine enablement, for divine revelation, for divine insight. Rada so brakata. A katabara is not going to be a year as usual. This one is going to be unique because my family, myself, everything that involved me, everything that I'm involved in, I've been brought under open heaven in the name of Jesus. It will not be a one-time thing. Nanako Bakiske, Amando Ski Brakazukete. The Bible says, as you said to my hearing, so will I do unto you. I hope somebody is speaking, somebody is decreeing, somebody is declaring the open heaven. Zizo in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the year 2024. Oh, the heavens upon me are opening. The Koba Sigradu Zugetarada January, February through to December and beyond it shall be open heavens for me. Redo Boko Shibarata. Open heavens for divine announcement hey, that the Lord will be introducing you to people that matter. Erabako Shabarata. The angels will go forth to announce your business kanimata e goperiata e dekoshka brakata it will not be by your effort this year it will be by the open heaven for the hand of the lord shall be visible upon all you do felili kapata e shaga pragata parata e brekete brekete kete e kodiaba radiaka i decree heavens open upon this one's heavens open e kobragata liata open for a pouring, a pouring of opportunity in the year 2024 no matter the reasons complain that people are having in the year 2024 for the wind is blowing in your favor therefore your heavens are open Nero Shakata, you will not be among them that complain about this year 2024 because your life is now positioned on the open heaven your family your investment your career is now positioned under open heaven i erase every history of failure because you are having a new record setting a new record this year 2024 why your heavens are open every resistance of the past we cut them off we tear them down in drobeke zupe letter the failure of the past will not repeat yourself in your family will not repeat yourself in your life for you have come under open heaven as you journey 2024 not by power not by might but the spirit of the lord heavens help you 
Katiada, the heavens are opened upon you. Angels come to your help. Erabata, announcing everything you lay your hand upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, men that have not known you before will delight in favoring you. Ekabaya, why? Because your life is under open heaven. Lero si da koko barazizo. Eko brene puraske barata. Oh, radize kete. I pray over you concerning your work with God, concerning your ministerial assignment, that which God wants you to do. I decree this year 2024, open heaven, open heaven, open heaven, open heaven, open heaven. Eka pariata, because you are under open heaven, get ready for all oh, great measure of result. Great result. Harvest of result. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that which you have been happening, I did, I tried. It almost happened. Today marks their end. Near success syndromes today marks their end. Why? Because you are now under open heaven. A cobarata, no more failure, no more story of failure. Your life is now under open heaven. Your family is now under open heaven. No more affliction, no disease, no sickness. Because you are now under open heaven. Vivekuske Fanata, Ezugra Goto Bakata. It will be clear to those who know you and those who don't that God is on your side. Your life is under open heaven. We decree in the name of Jesus Christ. The heavens upon you are open. Bekoski Bakata, Etuzuzu Kukute Kaske Paniata. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree right here, right now open heavens oh open heavens of encounters 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 life transforming encounters lego go brakata sizigakata lege gega kushka baraka ske bredeteya in the year 2024 open heavens for your financial breakthrough eko baraske brekete i decree gatos kibata because you are under open heaven from this very day an end has come to every form of hardship around your life spiritually physically financially an end has come to every form of financial hardship in the name of Jesus. It is your season. The heavens are opened. God is announcing you. God is announcing your work. God is announcing your business. Are pouring for you. Are pouring of God's power, God's favor, God's blessings, God's presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We love you and we appreciate you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you because the heavens are open. Oh, Rebo Siba, Nina Nato Velete. We give you praise. We give you glory. You are faithful. You are holy. You are mighty. Oh, what you open, who can close? Nobody. Therefore, I decree the heavens upon your life are open right here, right now. Enjoy open heaven endlessly in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Long for in this world. There is with God's own heart Oh, let the ancient words in her Words of life Words of hope Give us strength Help us go In this world where we roam, ancient words will guide us home. Ancient words, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open heart, oh, let the ancient.
Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's always a joy again to bring to you the Word of God. And I am ever so thankful for our God and His gracious help towards us in the journey thus far. Here we are now. This is the third, quote-unquote, year you can say that PBC is overlapping. Even though this is still our second year, but you can think about it in such a way that PBC was established by God and birthed on June 12th, 2022. So that is 2022. And then we crossed over into 2023 last year and we did a whole year in 2023. And now we are now in the new year, 2024. So this is the third, if you will, time duration that we are overlapping, although it is our second year as a church we are so thankful to god and i think as of our last tracker um, this is going to be our 85th or our 86th service sunday service so that's 85 sundays or 86 sundays that has gone by ebenezer has been our help he has been our sustenance and he has brought us into this spectacular new year and i am so grateful to god Last week, Sunday, we began with a strong start, January 7th, and I was privileged to bring to you the word of the Lord and the counsel of the Lord as it pertains to this church, the discipleship altar, which is the NSN Bible study altar and community, and also the Hangout with Jesus Global Evangelistic Missionary Revival Movement. Today, by the grace of God, I'm going to be continuing on that which the Lord had laid upon my heart as it pertains to how we should begin this year and also live through this year. As a reminder, and as it's going to be put right here at the bottom side of, this, of the screen, the word of the Lord to us <laughs> as a church in 2024, PBC, NSN and Hangout with Jesus, this beautiful trifecta. The word of the Lord to us is that 2024 is going to be a year of unending celebrations. Celebrations without end. Testimonies without end. Celebrations and jubilations without number. Unending celebrations to the glory of our God. Hallelujah. And last week Sunday, I shared with you the anchor scripture that cements this word from the word of God and we began to build and we began to move by the grace of God in that understanding and so therefore as is our custom whenever God sends a word to us we labor in the scriptures to find credence from the holy words of Yeshua study that scripture and then leave it out practically after sharing it with God's people that's what God did with us in 2023 you will recall january of 2023 the lord had said to us 2023 is going to be a year of righteous boldness and so we studied righteous boldness throughout the month of january 2023 and i think it was a five-part teaching the series is still on the playlist in the pbc youtube channel you can go there and listen and be edified i believe that was when god was sharing with us you know the way of the lion and then the art of roaring and then why does the lion roar and, and so on and so forth it was, it was a beautiful spirit inspired five-part series teaching on righteous boldness throughout the month of january january 2023 last year this year we only have four sundays in the month of january we began last week with january 7th we are continuing today with January 14th and we're going to have two more Sundays in this month of January. Throughout this month of January to kickstart our year because it's the first month of the year, we will be looking into the scriptures to better understand this topic and this word from God called unending celebrations. Unending celebrations. What does it really mean practically to you 
and to me what does it mean to both of us to 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 this entire ecclesia to this church group to this church family to the community of our beautiful bible study group and of course to the revivalistic movement that god has birthed through his own spirit what does this mean what does unending celebrations really mean we began last week by teaching and sharing the gospel that anchors this we're going to continue today by the grace of god with that same scripture as i'm sure you guys know the spirit of god does an incredible work he will give us literally just four or five verses or in some cases even three verses and then he will teach us with those verses for an entire month that's the holy spirit the teacher himself the spirit of truth who guides us into all truth and so we give him praise forevermore i'm going to very quickly bring you again to the scripture that anchors our year and the word that god has given us and that is amos now this is a book that is very rarely written it's a book that is very rarely read it's a book that is very rarely studied because obviously amos falls into the category of those people that you would call the minor prophets now here is a little secret for you all of the books that are written and inspired by the people that we've come to term in the theological circles as the minor prophets all of those books without fail even though they were written by good and good minor prophets they contain major revelations major blessings major goodness goodness and major harvest you will come to see as we study this book of amos chapter number nine from verses 13 to 15 the anchor text of scripture that powers the word of god to us this year before we go into the scripture again as the part two of this teaching series for the month of january let us share a word of prayer ha. our father and our god i thank you because of who you are i thank you for your heart you are good inherently good overwhelmingly good abundantly good everything about you is goodness you're a good good father it's who you are thank you for your uh, amazing love that you have blessed pbc with thank you for your amazing grace that you have used to power your church thank you for the building the preserving thank you for the engracement thank you for the help thank you for the increase the additions thank you for the soul saved the lives transformed thank you for the expansive breaking through into the portals of the online world thank you lord for the subscribers the viewers thank you for the membership thank you for the stewards thank you lord for the regions reached by you thank you lord jesus because even at the very last day of 2023 december 31st you saved the soul we are grateful because we are living out our purpose and this church is fulfilling that which is most important to you the making of men and the building of men into the similitude and the semblance of yeshua our christ lord jesus it is time for me to deliver your word again as a servant and as a messenger lord god almighty i pray through the power of your spirit help me help me to speak simply help me to deliver this word simply let this word come alive in the heart of those that will hear even in the live service now and in the aftermath watching replays for those who catch up on the services and on the streams afterward lord i pray you will grant me simplicity of speech i pray lord that this word will be mixed with faith in our hearts and we will leave out this word not just in january not just today but for the rest of this year thank you for unending celebrations that have begun already blessed be your name O god forevermore in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen and amen as i told you already this is going to be our year of unending celebrations and the lord is not waiting to begin he has already started there is a member of this church pbc one of our sisters who is a member of this beautiful family she is going to be getting married already so she's part of the beginning of the celebrations that we've seen and it's amazing what god is doing just in the first two and a half to three weeks of this year we are already recording our first wedding and there will be more and there will be more even for those of you right now who are of marriageable age and are in god's program and divine calendar to get married in 2024 
I pray for you. Even right now, it may feel like you're not seeing anybody and you're not courting anybody and no one has come into the picture. I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe this word. Meet your partner, God ordained partner, a partner that fears God and walk into your marital destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Amos chapter 9, turn with me. Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. The message translation. The message translation. Get your Bibles, get your scriptures, open up that Bible app. If you have an e-Bible, if you have a physical Bible, which I highly recommend, turn your pages to Amos chapter 9. 13 to 15 i will be reading from the message translation and then i'm going to anchor the verse that we're going to focus on today amos chapter 9 13 to 15 i will read the message this is the word of the lord to us the broader complex and the trifecta family in 2024 amos 9 13 to 15 the message translation i read yes indeed it wouldn't be long now god's decree Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. <laughs> Amen. One thing fast on the heels of the other. I pray you begin to put your amen in the chat box and give credence and append your affirmation of this word that is coming forth to you. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Amen. PBC, you won't be able to keep up. Amen. Everything will be happening at once. Amen. And everywhere you look, blessings. Amen. Blessings like wine pouring out off of the mountains and the hills. Amen. I will make everything right again for my people, PBC. Amen. They will rebuild their ruined cities. Amen. They will plant their vineyards and drink good wine. Amen. They will work their gardens and eat fresh vegetables. Amen. And I will plant them. Yes, I will plant them on their own land. Amen. They will never again be uprooted from the land I've given them. Amen. And this is a part of the love. God, Kabai, your God, say so with an exclamation mark. Amen. This is a heta vecopalia type. This is a loaded compendium of blessings earmarked for the PBC, the hangar with Jesus and the Edison family in 2024. I will not miss one blessing that belongs to me. My family will not miss one blessing that belongs to me. You declare what you want to declare over your own life. Be a prophet over your soul. I told you all. At the beginning of the year, when I brought from the counsel of the Lord, one of the things you must do well this year is use your tongue wisely. Be a prophet over your life. Declare with positivity and with understanding and with faith. Beware of negative statements. Beware of negative declarations. Not one, one of these blessings will elude me and my family. As for me and my household, we will walk in unending celebrations every single day of this year. So shall it be. Activate your faith. Believe God. That's how you prevail. It's the currency with which you transact with Zion. Faith. The Lord has sent his word. Great is the company of they that publish it, but also they that believe it. My God, what a word. Amos, a minor prophet, but a major, major revelation. People sleep on these minor prophets. People sleep on them and say, oh yeah, it's just Micah. It's just Nahum. You know, it's just Zephaniah. It's just Amos. My God. Amos, this incredible shepherd, this shepherd man, Amos, wasn't even really a prophet in the sense of it. He was a shepherd. But God just brought him in into the prophetic for a season, for such a time as this. And this word is applicable to us this year. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For today's focus, I want to anchor on one simple text of scripture. And that is Amos chapter 9, verse 14a. Amos chapter 9 and verse 14a. That's the one that we're going to anchor with here. It says this. They will rebuild as part of the unending celebrations. As part of the unending celebrations. What is going to define our unending celebrations? This is what is going to define it. Look at this. They will rebuild their ruined cities. They will plant vineyards and drink good wine. Those two statements are what we're going to focus on 
for the purpose of today's message pay attention pay attention limit all distractions this is not the time to be going up another place looking for something in the microwave oven this is not the time to be scandal around the place looking for stuff in your fridge or browsing the internet or looking for something on instagram this is the time to receive your blessings for the year i pray you'll be wise i pray you'll be wise even as the word of the lord is coming forth i pray you will be wise i pray you will be wise i pray you'll be wise to be or to to limit distracted to to limit distractions rather in the name of jesus christ what does it mean to rebuild their ruined cities and to plant vineyards and drink good wine let us go through it point number one <clears throat> this is what god is saying to us <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. In 2024, God is giving PBC and the family extended special grace for rebuilding. Oh, yes. Unending celebrations is preceded by a special grace for rebuilding. Think about Nehemiah who obtained special grace for the rebuilding efforts. Only after that could the people of God walk into a place and a season of unending celebrations. Can I pray for you because we're going to be praying as we go along the way. Can I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the living God, that this year, even now, on this January 14th day, receive special grace, and I mean special grace, for the rebuilding efforts of your destiny and your life. God will give you special grace to rebuild every ruined city whatever constitutes or qualifies as a ruined city in your life god gives you a special grace to rebuild it you must rebuild before you enter into your celebrations in jesus name amen micah chapter 7 and verse 11 micah chapter 7 and verse 11 i will quote the scripture micah 7 and verse 11 micah another minor prophet <laughs> it will be a day for building your walls amen this year will be a year for rebuilding your walls as you celebrate unendingly. Amen. On that day, on that day, your boundaries shall be extended. Your boundaries shall be extended. This is a special year. I plead with you. I plead with you. Don't look at this small skinny kid. Just listen to this word. It will change your life. I. We have proof points of the word of God in our ministry. And how it has brought proof points and results for all who believe. Your path. Your bonds. Your boundaries will be extended. Because it is that day. It is that year. It is that day. It is that year. 2024 is that that day for you in the name of Jesus 2024 is that year for you in the name of Jesus 2024 is that season for you in the name of Jesus Christ your boundary will be extended subject to your rebuilding Micah tells us let's look at another major prophet this time around Isaiah Isaiah 61 and verse 4 Isaiah 61 and verse 4 the word of the Lord says, then, another rebuilding, we're talking about rebuilding here, then, PBC, they will rebuild the ancient ruins of your life, of my life. God will give me special grace and you special grace to rebuild the ancient ruins. They will raise up the former devastations and they will repair the ruined cities. The desolations of many generations i don't know what may have been coming through your bloodline i don't know what may have been termed as desolate i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ as by the word of the lord you this year will no longer be termed forsaken you will no longer be termed desolate but you shall be referred to as hefsiba and Beulah, because the lord is rewriting your story and bringing you into a season of unending celebrations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Point number two. Remember point number one is God is giving us the special grace for rebuilding. Amos 9.14a. Amos 9.14a. Those two sentences are the focus of today's message. Pay attention. Do not be distracted. They will rebuild their ruined cities. They will plant vineyards 
and drink good wine. We are still focusing on the rebuilding peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now look at it. Second point. The message translation says they will rebuild their ruined cities. Cities. Now that is plural. Plural. That means that this year God is giving us back spaces and territories. Plural. Spaces. Plural. Territories. Plural. That we may have lost to the enemy in the past. This is part of our unending celebration package. Spaces and territories in your life, in your calling, in your destiny, in your gifting, in your alignment, in your career, in your marriage, in your home, in whatever pertains to your life and your godliness, what you may have seeded, what you may have lost carelessly by, it's called the ruined cities to the enemy. God is giving you back spaces, oh God, and territories that you have lost to the enemy. He is bringing back your ruined cities and you will rebuild them in the name of Jesus Christ we have to first rebuild we have to first rebuild can you put in the chat box and say Lord Jesus in 2024 I will rebuild I will rebuild in this January I will start the rebuilding effort in this January I will rebuild on my knees I will rebuild in prayer I will rebuild in worship I will rebuild in understanding I will rebuild in the study of the Word of God I will rebuild in righteousness my altar of consecration is rebuilt in the name of Jesus put it up there and affirm your statement before God I will rebuild I will rebuild I will rebuild PBC will rebuild in the name of Jesus grace to rebuild before you celebrate you got to rebuild before you celebrate you got to rebuild before the fire fell Elijah had to rebuild the altar it's how it works you must rebuild first the grace to rebuild has been given unto you and you will walk with it and you will walk in it in the name of Jesus the motto is to rebuild, to reclaim. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hashtag rebuild, capital R, to, capital T, reclaim, capital R. Hashtag rebuild to reclaim. Hashtag rebuild to reclaim. Hashtag rebuild to reclaim. In 2024, Lord Jesus, PBC rebuilds to reclaim every lost ground. Even as we enter into our season of unending celebrations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jeremiah 31 and verse 4. Jeremiah 31 and verse 4. To give you an anchor on the second point I mentioned about rebuilding to reclaim. It says, <clears throat> Jeremiah 31 4. Again, I will build you. This is God talking to PBC now. Hmm. We are the version of Israel here again i will build you amen <clears throat> and pbc you will be rebuilt amen oh virgin of israel that's us again you uh, my god you see the template here can you see the protocol you cannot lift up tambourines and begin to celebrate until you have rebuilt i know this is the year of unending celebrations but God is a God of protocol. I wish I could just come here and give you excited news. But I have to follow the kingdom template by the word of Yeshua. There are protocols that precede celebration. Oh God. Especially if it's going to be unending. Before we lift up tambourines and begin to praise our king. Before we lift up tambourines and begin to dance. There are things a man, a woman must do. Part of it is the rebuilding. So God knows this. And God says this is how I'm going to do it by, by, by my order. Jeremiah 31 and verse 4. Again, I, this is the word of God, so complete, so perfect, so apt, so perfect, so applicable. He gives a word, there are multiple verses of scripture. This is why you must labor in the word of God. As we try to do for the sake of this incredible flock that God has brought under our care by grace and in all humility. Unworthy as we are. The word of God is incredible. I jump, I, I leap, I, I, I almost want to do a backflip when I see these things in the scripture. And they've been there since the beginning of time for us to see. Oh, <laughs> Jeremiah 31 and verse 4. Again, God will rebuild PBC. He will rebuild somebody that is listening to me right now. Again, God will build somebody watching me right now and listening. God will build your life. Again, I will build you and you will be rebuilt. Oh, virgin of Israel, 
again you will only after being rebuilt can you then take up tambourines and go forth to the dances of the merrymakers what are tambourines and what are the dances of the merrymakers this is simply unending celebrations but there can be no unending celebrations until we are rebuilt by god may the lord rebuild you so that you can reclaim that which belongs to you. May the Lord rebuild you so that you can repossess your possessions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Some of the celebrations this year will just fall into your lap. Sure. But then there are dimensions of celebrations that you would need to first rebuild before you can walk into. This is the word of the Lord. Hmm. The third point before we begin to wrap up here is this I'm moving to the second set statement now we've talked about the rebuilding efforts the first two points were about the rebuilding and the reclaiming and getting the ruined cities plural the third point if you're taking notes and I really hope you are is this this year God is not just going to rebuild us to sustain our celebrations we need to plant If you uproot evil, you don't leave the hole empty. You need to plant righteousness. Yes. That's the way it works. So you uproot what is not of God in your life and then you plant in that space because there is no vacuum in the spirit realm. Neither is there supposed to be a vacuum in the physical realm. Yeah, that's the template. So it's not enough to just rebuild. You must plant if you want to sustain your celebrations. That's the truth. Look at this. Galatians 6 and verse 7. Galatians 6 and verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, whatever you plant, whatever you plant is what you will reap this year. Yes. You must plant, plant. If you sow joy, you will reap joy. If you plant goodness, you will reap goodness. If you sow righteousness, you will reap life and righteousness unending. If you sow positivity, you will reap positive outcomes. This is the truth. If you plant faith, you will reap celebrations. If you sow grapevines, you will reap wine. How do I know? It says right there, they will plant grapevines and they will drink good wine. They will plant grapevines and they will drink good wine. Can I pray for somebody on this call, in this service, in this YouTube stream, that God will give you the grace to plant, 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 and plant your grapevines. What grapevines constitute, you will plant. These are the things that, you know, grapevines are the, are the, are the seeds and the, the elemental, you know, material that you need to produce good wine. Wine is made from grapes, fermented, when it becomes alcoholic, which we do not drink. But for the non-alcoholic wines, even that, you, you beat them on the ground with your, your footsteps sometimes. You mesh them, the liquid that comes out of the grapes, stored, cooled, kept under the ground, fermented in some cases, is what is then known as wine. Aged over time. If you do not plant, you cannot reap. I pray God will give you the grace to plant your great finds early this year so that you can drink good wine it doesn't say wine it says good wine i pray your wine will not be bad this year your wine will not be bad bad wine is a function of bad seeds mm. holy spirit you are the wine indeed yourself you are the sweet new wine yourself holy spirit please help us to plant fruits and seeds of the spirit so that we might reap good wine not just regular wine Good, good, good wine. Please, I want to beg you, don't put new wine in old wine skins, for they will burst open, and both the new wine and the skins will be wasted. I beg you in the name of God, please hear with the ear of the Spirit. I go very to buy. Please transform your heart posture and sow the right seeds of truth and of righteousness by the Spirit of God so that you can drink good wine this year. I will drink good wine as surely as God helps me. In the name of Jesus, I will drink good wine. My family will drink good wine. PBC, the Church of Christ, will drink new wine. To the glory of our King. It's good. 
There is bad wine, there is good wine. May you not drink bad wine and may your wine harvest not be a bad one. Ah, may your wine harvest not be a bad one. That means you have to pay attention to what you sow. Don't sow unforgiveness this year. Don't sow malice. Don't sow strife. Don't sow pride. Don't sow all sorts of things. Don't sow shadiness. Don't sow stealing and theft. Don't sow lies. Don't sow iniquity. Don't sow sin. Plant uh, the seeds of righteousness. Plant faith. Plant virtue. And see what kind of wine you're going you're gonna to be drinking. If you want to celebrate unendingly this year, I am bringing to you the word of God. This humble messenger by grace, I am bringing this word of God to you. Take it what you want. Do with it what you want to do with it. Do with it what you want to do with it. But I know those of you that will follow suit, we will be celebrating with you. If it is God that called me, we will see if he has been helping me all of these years with proof points in the folks that he has brought our way. Just listen to this word and see what will, what will happen to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, as I close, God, number four, God will give us good wine this year, but listen, listen to me. You must drink. <laughs> you want to have an ending celebrations? You have to drink. I can bring you a cup of water, a cup of tea, a glass of wine, and whatnot. But if you do not drink, you cannot benefit of the goodness thereof in the liquids. It says they will plant their grapevines and they will drink good wine i know the wine is good but you cannot know it's good unless you drink i pray some of you are to levi to my copa every fatigue to drink i delete it from your life some of us are tired to drink some of us are too tired to even eat good food i pray every spiritual lethargy drowsiness hangover from 2023 trying to deny you of the sweetness and the goodness of the wines in your 2024 i pray that that spirit of fatigue i break their hold over your life and i cast it out of your life in the name of jesus christ strength and energy to drink be bestowed upon you you will drink well drink 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 in the name of the lord jesus christ ah I obtain capacity to enjoy your blessings this year, Lord. I shall drink from your rivers of blessings in the year 2024 in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. I obtain capacity, Lord, to drink, to drink, to drink. I will drink of the rivers of your blessings this year, 2024. It's a year of unending celebrations. I will drink. I will drink. I will drink. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I got to bring this to a close, but obviously I cannot close this message. Um, what messenger would I be if I did not give you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ? The source and the spring well of all things in life and godliness are inside of Christ. There can be no unending celebrations. There can be no drinking. There can be no good wine. There can be no rebuilding. There can be no reclaiming. There can be no repossession. There can be none of what we have just said over the last 25 to 30 minutes. There can be nothing like that if you do not know Jesus Christ and if you have not yet received him, accepted him as your Lord and your Savior and living under his government. If you have not done that, everything I've just said does not apply to you. But if you want to know Jesus Christ and you truly want to be part of the list of those who we're going to be enjoying unending celebrations with, here is an opportunity for you to just simply know the Lord. You know that you entered into this year, you've maybe even committed one or two sins. This is the time to make your ways right. Repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I thank you for January 14th. I thank you for this word. I thank you for such an encouraging, uplifting message of hope. Thank you for giving me something to look forward to in 2024. But I recognize that my sins are blocking me from you. Today, I renounce, I repent, I confess all of my sins and I pray for the grace to forsake them. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, as my personal Lord and as my personal Savior. I want to partake of that which you have in store for me. I do not want to keep on living a life of emptiness and sin. I don't want to do it my way anymore. I surrender my life and my ways to you. Please teach me your ways. Help me, Lord. All the dividends of the kingdom, let them come to me. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we have prayed. Amen. If you said that short prayer, just like that, you are saved, you are redeemed, and you are restored. Like that, you can begin to enjoy everything we've just said. There's a link right now in the chat box. Please put your name right there and fill up that form. And we'll bring you into a beautiful family of discipleship where we can begin to grow together in the way of the Lord and then enter into a realm of unending celebrations and blessings. God bless you. Happy New Year to those of you once again who are joining us. I pray for the blessings of God over you and I pray that this will be a glorious year you will never forget in a hurry. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Over to you, dear Tina. That was a really energizing and invigorating message. I, for one, am so excited to start rebuilding, reclaiming, and planting. I hope everybody at home is taking this word of God to heart as well. And now we are going to move into a session of tithing. We encourage you, if you are able to, to give, give generously to God's church. Let us now move into that session of tithing and offering. And as the river flows, it begins to bring everything into life. It's a life-giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. And as the river flows, it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life-giving river. And as the river flows, it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. As the river flows, as the river flows, it begins to bring everything to life. It's a life giving river. we're at the end of another wonderful PBC worship experience, but don't worry just yet. We'll stay connected with you because by the grace of God, in this new year 2024, we will be releasing a lot of new content on all of our social media platforms. They're all linked down below. You can follow us there. You can start by subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Make sure that the notifications are on. Um, and as we go into 2024, Staying connected with PBC with your church is just as easy as sharing a link or subscribing or liking a post, right? So we hope to see you next week with a friend, with somebody who has liked your post, who's commented. Until then, we love you. Jesus loves you even more. Have a blessed week.